Hello, hello, hello. It's your girl Brianna Queen. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I focus on easy beauty as well as decor. So in today's video, I'm doing another step-by-step -step beginner tutorial all about doing the makeup. I did do some different things with my face routine. I really want to go in depth and explain what I'm doing to achieve this look. Interested in this look right here. Then come on, let's keep on watching. Starting off with primer. Primer just helps to increase the longevity of your makeup as well as give your foundation a nice smooth canvas to work with. This foundation also includes sunscreen which is why I'm rubbing it all over my face. And you definitely do not want to forget that neck. That neck needs sunscreen too, sis. Lather, lather the neck. Now I'm being super extra, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply a, another primer just on my nose and underneath my eyes. Really my T-zone, which tends to get super oily. So I did apply a primer that was like a sunscreen and then I'm gonna apply one more primer, a very thin layer, just to my nose and underneath my eyes. Now it's time for the foundation. Now it's time for the foundation. I'm going in with a beauty blender, which I did miss with a little bit of water. I prefer for my beauty blender to be a little damp. I find it's easier to blend my foundation. Taking some foundation and that beauty blender and just going ahead and dabbing it on my face. And you guys already know, everything I use, all products will be listed down below in the description bar for you because I'm, I'm nice like that, okay? And when you are applying your foundation, make sure you are blending that into your jawline. You do not want a differential line. I always tell you guys that because I be wanting to look out for you, but you definitely do not want to have a differential line. So make sure you blend it into your jawline and into your hairline. All right, and let's check mark off foundation because the foundation is done. Oh, beautiful. So next up is the eyebrows. You guys know eyebrows frame the face. They're so important. I can't do anything without my eyebrows done. So first off, just taking a spoolie, brushing that off, and then going in and filling my brows in with a brow pomade. And the way I fill my brows in is I just apply, bleh, bleh, can't even talk. The way I apply my brows is I first apply a line to the very bottom of my brows. And then I go ahead and just brush that line further up. So almost blending out that line by just brushing it further up. And that's how I do my eyebrows. And once my brows look good and crazy, I go in with the spoolie and I just brush that brow pomade out so it does not look super harsh. And then I use some concealer underneath the brow to shape my eyebrows better. And I also apply that concealer to my lid as a base and help prevent my eyelids from getting oily throughout the day. So now I'm going in with my palette and I have the palette down below. I cannot think of the name y'all. And I'm taking that brown. I'm just going to apply that to my crease and a little bit above my crease. This is just going to help the other colors to transition better. And I'm packing this color on with a fluffy blending brush. And don't worry if it looks crazy at this current time or at this point in time. Don't worry if it looks crazy y'all. It's supposed to look crazy at this point. Just ensure that you're packing that color orange so you do have that color. We will clean it up later. I promise. Taking a nice fluffy brush and this product will also be listed down below. And I'm taking this clean brush and I'm just going to blend out that harsh line so it does not look as harsh. So when applying eyeshadows, especially as a beginner, you can have a brush that you use to pack on the eyeshadow colors and then have a, another brush that you use to actually blend out that color. So it's just gonna make it a lot easier. It will also prevent your eyeshadows from looking super muddy. Now I'm going in with the Maybelline Color Tattoo. It's a cream eyeshadow and y'all, I stacked up. Ulta had like a sale, so I bought a ton of them in different colors. I mean, they only had like five colors, but I bought them. And I'm taking this eyeshadow and I'm taking a flat eyeshadow brush. And I like to do, it's how I like do my eyes, okay y'all? I like to apply a little bit to the center of my eye and then work my way 
left and then work my way right. It helps for the eyeshadow, the placement. So if you find when you apply your eyeshadows, maybe you apply the eyeshadow too low or too high, start at the center of your lid and then work your way around and that will help with the placement of your eyeshadow colors. Now I'm taking this Morphe eyeshadow palette and I'm taking this shimmer shade inside of it and I'm going to pack that on top of that cream eyeshadow I just applied. If you find when you apply when you apply eyeshadows they're not super bright, they look maybe dull, I highly recommend applying a base and then applying that eyeshadow on top of it. This eyeshadow is pretty dull, but by having that base on it and then applying that eyeshadow on top, it's super bright and it looks very, very pigmented. So that's something I do recommend that you do if you find your eyeshadows are not very bright on your face. Now I'm taking that brown eyeshadow and I'm just going to kind of carve out my crease a little better. And literally all I'm doing is just taking that brown and just carving out my crease so that that eyeshadow looks a little more cleaner on my lid. Yes! And then the last thing I'm going to be doing for this eye look is taking some brown eyeshadow and applying that to the outer V of my eye. So I am lightly, y'all see lightly, packing that on the end of my eye, the outer V, and I'm packing that on. It's just going to make this eyeshadow look, look a little smokier. And remember you guys, you can always apply more, but you can't apply less. So apply very little at a time and then just keep going and applying a little more. Build it. Build the color. Highly recommend 10 10, then build the color. <laughs> And then taking that clean eyeshadow brush I used at the very beginning to blend out the lines, going back in with that brush and blending out the lines again. So literally apply the color with a brush, blend out. Apply another color, blend out. That's what we do. Okay, Brie, get it, girl, get it. Next up is the eyeliner. Next up is the eyeliner. Okay, so we are doing a cream eyeliner this time. You guys know I usually do the liquid. We're gonna do something a little different, taking an angled brush and my cream eyeliner. And I'm going to apply a line to my eyes. And I know you're probably wondering, Brianna, what's taking so long to apply this eyeliner? Why are you applying it so thin? So here's a trick. Not really a trick. If you're not used to applying cream eyeliner, which it's been a minute since I've applied it, you want to go in with a very thin line and then you can make it thicker. But you do not want to try to do a super thick line and then you mess it up and now you done messed up your eyeshadow. Look, girl, just, girl, don't even do it. So when you are applying eyeliner, especially if you are a newbie, apply a very thin layer because you can always apply more, but you can't apply less. I was on my way to a winery, so you know, I had to be a little beat for my birthday for this safe six feet distance winery I was attending. So first going in with some concealer, y'all know I love me some concealer. Like y'all know I just, I stand for it. So taking that concealer, applying it underneath the eye, then taking a brush and blending out the edges of my concealer. If you've been watching my recent videos, you know that's something I've been doing lately is taking a brush and blending out my concealer I just like the finish it just looks better and then I'll go in with a damp beauty blender the same one I use my foundation with because you guys know anybody got time using all these different beauty blenders but taking that beauty blender just blending out any spots that I missed And then I'm going to set all of my makeup, which just helps to increase the longevity of my concealer as well as it prevents it from smearing, sliding all over the place, and it just looks good, y'all. And I set my makeup, I don't necessarily bake it. So once I apply that powder, I let it stay on no more than 20 seconds and I brush that bad boy right off. So taking a brush and just lightly brushing off that powder. And as you can see, my face no longer looks as greasy and oily as it did before. And I just really have that bright under eye look. So one thing I have been doing, like this is like my new thing. I'm getting older, you guys know that. I know that as well, my doctor knows that. I've been applying beige or cream eyeliner 
to the bottom of my lid as opposed to black. It just makes my eyes look more awake. It makes my eyes look wider. I found that the black eyeliner underneath my eye, it's aging me now that I'm aging a little bit. So applying a cream eyeliner to my bottom lash line, it just makes, y'all, it just makes the look look so good. Now it's time for the contour. Now it's time for the contour. So now it's time to contour, obviously. I'm taking a Fenty stick and applying that to the center, my center, perimeter of my face. So cheekbones, forehead, as well as to my jaw. And I'm gonna blend that out using a angled brush. Oh, is she feeling herself? Then I'm adding some blush to the cheeks to warm up this look a little bit. And then last but not least, going in with some lipstick. I am taking a brown lipstick and using that as my lip liner. You guys, if you have like a favorite chocolate brown lipstick, please write down below the name brand, like the name of that. I am on the hunt for some more brown lipsticks. But yeah, taking this brown lipstick, applying that to the perimeter of my lip like a lip liner. And then going over that, focusing on the center of my lip with a NYX Butter Gloss. I love me some NYX Butter Glosses, y'all. But I'll put all the, all the links, everything I use, down below for you. And then, of course, finishing up with a spraying powder, a setting spray, to help keep the makeup lasting longer, get rid of any powdery looks. And just, you know, because we done. We got to set this makeup because we done. Mm -hmm. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give a girl a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys in my very next video. Love you.